Let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin. It's my Barmy journey. Time to get to know my dad's side of the family in Israel. And also a roots adventure to find the village my grandfather grew up in before the Holocaust. When we went through security in London, I had to take out all of my stuff. And I took out my bottle of contact solution, which had 16 ounces, 16 milliliters too much of contact stuff. So they threw it away. But I forgot about this, this water bottle that I had in my backpack. They didn't detect that. It went all the way through. And what, we what, what do we call a security system like that? Uh, <laughs> we, we, we call it retarded. Yep. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm Barack. Hi, Barack. <laughs> Newest member of the Hi, family. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi, Cedar. It's me, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dan Price. Oh, yeah. Vansko. Vansko. Oh, my God. My dad. Vansko. I think Zoe, one of my four fabulous Israeli cousins, needed me to see the most religious place she knew, the local Luna Park. I get queasy just watching her ride on the monster show. The one place you have to go in Israel has to be Jerusalem. And my tour guides are Uncle Cole and Derber. What are, what are we seeing? What are we seeing? If somebody tries to climb up the wall to break into the city, you can shoot them down. That's what I see. Like a bad, bad lead. Falafel balls. <laughs> That'll get them off the wall. One, two, two three. three. This, I, can, I can see who it hits. This is such bad parenting. Down through the Arab market, toward the Wailing Wall, the Kotel. And a little offline shopping along the way. But for you, half price, 50 shekels. 50 shekels. Yes, good. Uh, no, thank you. I feel this bottle. 50 shekels, not no. much. I, I can imagine myself, if I really want something, I can get it down to a really good price. But You got to really want it? I didn't really want that one. No. There was a, a $10 for uh, $10 three at another place. Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Take a close look at the ladder by the window. See it? It goes nowhere and is useless, but it has not been moved for 260 years. The ladder cannot be touched, not until six of the Christian denominations sharing the church agree. And they have not agreed on anything for centuries. Underneath the altar over there, there's a glass, and then there's a rock with a hole in it. And that's, you'll see people prostrate there. That's where, according to the legend, this is the hill called the Golgotha, where the cross stood. It's inside there. You can go and see people. I know you want to see it again. Here it is, the famous ladder. Yes, I was coerced by my uncles. Tvilin, if you're Jewish, Tvilin! I said no, and Derber said yes. And here is his payback. Boy, on our way to the Dead Sea, we may have made a huge mistake ever leaving the car. It's dimming, it's smoking. The 
dry desert seems so forbidding and a very unlikely place for the last revolt of the Jews against the Romans. This massive cistern was their clever way of keeping enough water for a long siege. Rainwater would not go to waste and flowed into this. After being so clever about survival and holding off the Romans for two years, they decided to commit group suicide rather than compromise their faith. On the last night of the revolt, they held a lottery. Ten men whose names were picked had to dispense of the others. Then by lottery again, one remained to kill the other nine and then himself. It is summer in the desert, midday, and the Romans have had it their way. So all I can think about to keep me alive is orange juice and water. Shabbat together. We've rented a little Shabbat place. It's nearby Adela's place, so maybe we'll see them at the shul. I've only met him once before, and that was when I was a little taut. Too small to remember. Not to know my brother, well, half brother. <laughs> We stayed in a town where everyone keeps Shabbos and Natanel had prepared food and everything else needed for a quiet time. And I mean very quiet. I don't do Hebrew and he does not do English. No soccer, no video, just us. Did I say quiet? Okay, have a look at this. My beautiful concoction of pomegranate and two passion fruit that I found um, on the streets of, uh, well, let's just leave it at that. I found these on the streets. And now for my highlight. Tel Aviv, beach, soccer, need I say more? trip about my roots, and before we start the second part of our journey, a visit to the resting place of my grandparents. Grandpa Allen passed away a year after I was born, but he was a big part of my life, because he has made my dad the man he is. And two years ago, Granny Allen passed away too. We will never forget them. Dad grew up in Africa, Grandpa in Lithuania, and I in the United States. It's the journey of our family that I've come to explore. You know what I'm going to do what? tonight? Well, actually, it's in the late afternoon. Spit it up. I will go to a cooking workshop. Ah. 
I think it's very important also for your father because if you dislike the way <laughs> <laughs> he is cooking, he should come with me. Wow, sell it? Sure. Bring back, bring back, bring back the Trina again, again. Bring back, oh bring back, oh bring back the Trina again. <laughs>